I apply? I don't have a driver's license. Can I still apply for some countries? Only for certain countries. Can okay. couples apply? Uh, unfortunately, no. For the FFA program, but yay, for the teaching, you can do teaching together. I'm on antidepressants. Can I prepare? No, unfortunately <laughs> not. <laughs> You can apply if you are working towards getting your matric. So if you are in matric, we can send in your last results. But if you are out of school and you don't have matric, unfortunately you can't apply. I, if I am matric um, and I want to apply for next year, can I use my September results? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm over 30. Can I apply? No. Uh, but you can do the teaching program. Yeah. Yes. Okay. yes. My best friend and I want to appear together. <laughs> Are we both going to be in the same city? Not necessarily guaranteed. Sorry, ne? <laughs> <laughs> you can always go and visit your friend. That's, I mean, that's another town to see. So you don't want to be placed together. And you get to live for free then. Here's another one. <laughs> can I choose the city and area where I go to? I mean, kind of. <laughs> no. Like, I want to say you have to be adaptable. If you get more than one family interested in you, then eventually you can pick between the families. But you cannot be specific to which state or city in a country you want to go to. You, know, you have to be open minded. Yeah. Basically, you have to be open to anything. You have to be uh, available to to adapt to any situation because this is what you do. This right? Okay. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Pick the ages of the kids that I want to look after, and that is uh, yes, you can indicate on your profile uh, the ages of the kids that you want to look after. But if you do want to look after kids uh, younger than two, then you need to show a certain hours of experience with the kids on the reference. Bearing in mind that you can indicate your ages there, but that will not be a guarantee that you'll get those ages. Again, you need to be open to any situation. Uh, no one's going to force you to go to a house family, you're going to be uncomfortable. But from my experience in the industry the last decade is that 10 to 1, if I asked you to interview the family, you didn't want to interview the family and I, and I asked you to interview the family, it ends up in a match. So don't say no to a family uh, just because they might have four kids and you never thought you would be able to handle four kids. Or maybe they have a child at, at, of an age that you were not thinking of, of, of handling. Um, just give them a chance. Give them a chance, interview with them, see how they are. No one's going to force you to match, but 10 to 1 it's going to be a good match.